Okay. I'm going to go get the hot dogs. Okay. I'll be right back. Hang on. Hang on. Give me just a half a second. Y'all ready? My goodness, look at everybody. Did y'all hear mommy's voice? Did you? Did you hear my voice? My goodness. Let's see, let's get this situated here. There we go. Okay. Y'all gonna come over here and eat? You wanna eat? All right, whoever's been with the skunks. I smell you. Okay. So, hey, everybody. Everybody's hungry. Thank you. Yeah. Hello. Okay. I think we, it's what, uh, Wednesday? Yeah. So, yes, it's Wednesday. Um, I just got back from the hospital, uh, spent the afternoon and evening with Mr. Jim, so yeah, hello, he's doing well, um, he had, uh, visitors today, he had several phone calls, uh, he had some more tests, and um, they are, I'm not sure what the medication is, um, but he says they look like little tequila bottles uh, that they're hanging up. Uh, it's helping to drop the fluid. Uh, and uh, he's doing really well, and they're going to be running, hey, Chewy. Okay, you can get what you want. Here you go. They're going to be doing some more tests tomorrow. He may get to come home this weekend. Uh, we'll just find out a little later. Hey, Furby. So, I see it's around 10, I think it's like 10, 15, 10, 30 here. So, yeah, I stayed late. Past, vis past visiting hours, that's for sure. Hello. Um, but um, he was in really good spirits. So, um, I took him some pajamas earlier in the week, and I brought those home. I'm going to do his laundry for him. And um, I brought him a Reese's Cup. And, um, let's see what else did I bring him? Hey, yeah. Oops. Oh, I got him some more Tim Horton muffins. Oh, and Tim Hortons has these, um, these things called Twist. And Jim is not a garlic fan. So they have cheese and they have garlic. And I have been trying to get the cheese ones for like a month. And every time I go to get them, they're out. So, um, I got him today, and he just sat there and ate it, and he, he was like, yeah, that's pretty good, and I said, well, what'd you have for, uh, lunch, and he was telling me, and then, I said, it's okay, little one, um, I said, what, what are we gonna have for dinner, and he says, let's have pizza, so, he had pizza, and, uh, hi there. So he enjoyed his uh, dinner, and then he's got a, a roommate. Um, she's a very, well, he's got, he's in a room with four. And um, he uh, ha has two women and another guy. And uh, he has a lady that's across from him. And um, she is a... Uh, hospice and um 
the other guy next to him, he just had a stoma put in. And um, she uh, she was talking to Jim, and Jim was telling me about this this morning. Um, she had told him that, uh, that she won't be leaving. She knows. And um, so I told him to find out what her favorite treats were. So she likes Hershey bars. So I took her quite a few Hershey bars this evening. And uh, I don't know if she's Southern or if she knows the Southern sayings, but after I brought them, she told me, bless my heart. And I couldn't help but laugh. But uh, I was glad that I got her those treats because she really did enjoy them. She dove right into them as soon as I got there. And um, his um, surgeon that did his tumor came, and he was just so nice. Um, he was talking about um, the fluid, and he was talking about this, and he was glad that, you know, they got it. it's under control. And, um, oh my goodness, what are you doing, little lady? Um, so, he was very nice, and, um, he was talking about how well. Hey, Woody. How you doing? Where's that little one at? I hear him. He's hollering. Here you go. Where is he? I want this little guy to go hungry. I hear the little guy that was causing the stink yesterday. But I don't see him anywhere. I'm sorry to get off the subject, but I want to make sure this little guy is okay. Oh, he's out in the woods. Anyway, like Dr. Knapp was saying, uh, he was amazed at how well Jim has recovered from his surgery. How far and uh, how quickly he has healed and how well he looks and how he's getting around. Uh, he was just doing nothing but accolades and just being so positive with Jim uh, and he needed to hear that so hey peaches anyway it was a busy day so hello Oh, and I did ask him about Krabby. And I said, do you think she's going to bed? And he said, no. He said, she may have babies, or she may have moved on. Um, so, I says, well, tell me what happens when they have babies in the fall. He says, well... Oh my gosh, look, there's that big, there's that huge raccoon, everybody, that we haven't seen in a couple weeks. Um, he said that she will have her babies and she'll bring them over uh, at five to six weeks. And um, she will um, bring them here. Well, she always does. Hey, you're awfully big. Can you not walk up on the step? Oh. Oh, me. Did you see that? There you go. Where is that little one? I'm coming, Weddy. Here you go. Hello. They're Furby. 
So, I guess if she did have babies, we'll be seeing babies in four weeks. Right before they go to bed. But he did say that she will take the babies with her to hibern uh, not hibernation, but to four. And, um, I guess we'll see them in the, um, spring. In April. So, but he says sometimes they, he got stuck with one when he got stuck with Gizmo. He was a fall baby, and the mama just left him here. And Jim had to bring him in for the winter. Hi, little guy. I'm coming. I see you down there. There he goes. Okay, he's took care of. Hello. So I asked him all kinds of questions about all that today. And then, um, I feel somebody playing with my boots. Look at how big you are. My goodness. Mercy. That raccoon is huge. Y'all are smart. Y'all will dent up with that one. She'll keep you warm. <laughs> right? Yeah. And I was asking him, you know, when, when does he think that there, some of them might start going to bed? And he said, as soon as it gets five below. Um, and he was talking about Celsius. So that's around 30 Fahrenheit, uh, for those of you in the States. Um, so... Hello. There you go. There you go. Here you go, baby. Here. Here you go. Did you eat another one? Hey, Woody. Everybody loved you on the thumbnail last night. So, I'm going to go get you all your favorite thing. Who wants a cookie? Uh, oh, well, who wants a hot dog? You want a hot dog? And I will be right back with some cookies, okay? Let me get rid of this water here. There we go. So when I came home a little while ago, I came up on the deck, there wasn't a single raccoon. There wasn't a single raccoon here. And I said out loud, I said, where's everybody at? And then it was like a couple at a time just started streaming in. Hello. Hello, little one. You're so tiny. You're so petite. You remind me of Charlotte. Yeah. There you go. Hello. Want cookies? Everybody loves cookies, don't they? Hello. Ah. You want some cookies? Here we go. There's some cookies. 
just some more. Here you go. trying to get cookies. Let me go get the marshmallows. Hang on, babies. So when I uh, got home, as I was saying, there wasn't anybody out here, and I was like, oh no. And the reason I said oh no was, um, this morning, when, and Don, please take heed to this if you're watching, um, this morning when I got up, and I was cleaning off the deck, there was a large... It was a, let's just say there was a footprint that was larger than a raccoon on the deck and it was what it was wet like it had walked through the dew and um, then I was emptying the water and rinsing out the buckets and the footprint was down in the mud at the front of the deck and at the side of the deck I think we had a bear last night because uh, it was, I was telling Jim about it. I said, well, what do you think it was? And, and I was explaining to him that it was more claw than the paw pad. Uh, all I, I could see more of the claw in the mud. And um, he said, yeah, that's a bear. He, says, he said, he's not going to go to bed until these raccoons do. And I was like, okay. So, you get that little fella that's a stranger. I'm, I'm throwing him some marshmallows down there, too. I gave him some hot dogs. It's got to eat also, and maybe one day he'll warm up to you guys if he doesn't get so fussy. You know, he can't come in here like a bull in a china shop. Y'all are family. Y'all learn how to tolerate each other. He has to learn too, don't he? Yeah. Okay, so look at the look at that big raccoon. Let's see if I can get a good picture of it. Right there. You see it? That raccoon's huge. Mercy. Yeah, I'd follow, you, I'd follow that one home, guys. That's for sure. That's one you want to be friends with. You'll be warm all winter. Right, Peaches? See you, Smiler. Hey. Well, they're not afraid of it. The size must not not scare them. I don't know if that was Furby or if that was Sammy that went. I think that was Furby. It might have been. Huh? Let me look. I gotta look at the face. It might have been Sammy. Oh yeah, Sammy's on the warpath right now. It's Sammy. So. Hello. How you doing, Scooter? Just see Scooter? Say hey. Let me scoot out some. You getting some deep, Scooter? That's Scooter. Scooter's eating cookies. Look how fat Scooter is. Scooter's ready for winter. That's for sure. 
Well, I think everybody is now. Even Tina. Tina was my worry, but I think she's going to be all right. You going to scoot, Scooter? Hmm? Scooter's getting cookies. I'm going to dip. Yep. Scooter's going to dip in the bucket. Hey, guys. Let's all be nice. Say hello. Scooter, you want to show them your face? Hmm? Scooter. Well, maybe not. Just a scooting. Hey, everybody. You're going to be nice? Be nice. Hey, Woody. Hey. Doing peaches. Huh? Look at that tail, how beautiful. Hey, peaches. Hi, Dave. Hey, hi, baby girl. Ah, hello. Ah, what you doing? So I think I am done. And I am going to wrap it up. Get this loaded so that everybody can watch it tonight. And that'll be it. Right? Say yes. For sure. Well, thank you, everybody. Have a wonderful day tomorrow. Right? Say yes. Say my goodness. Yes. And we shall talk to you tomorrow night. Hey, stop it. Thanks, everybody, for your support and your continued prayers for Jim. Thanks a lot, and we'll talk to you soon. Good night.